A climate change reality we see across the globe and particularly devastating in India with record breaking rain this October. There was devastation in Uttarakhand in the last 24 hours. Key hill towns in Uttarakhand remain completely cut off because of landslides. As the chief minister said, even courses of rivers have changed. Relief and rescue work is intensified. A large number of tourists, however, remain stranded and road access to the plains remains blocked for many areas. Though in Nenital, the roads have opened. This was record-breaking rainfall in Uttarakhand, the highest ever. So we've seen that roads, bridges, communication infrastructure, all damaged. The National Disaster Response Force continues rescue operations across Uttarakhand. This was the situation in Nenital today. Low-lying areas of the largest hill town in the Kumao region remain submerged after the Neni Lake broke its banks, flooding the mall road. Today, road access from Nenital to the plains has been partially restored through Bhimtal and Kaladungi, but getting a taxi is proving to be expensive for those looking to get out. Prices of essential items are rising. तो कल तो पूरा दिन एकदम बारिश के वजह से हम लोग बाहर ही नहीं निकल सकी तो आज तो हम लोगों का अगर ट्रेन है रात 10 बजे हम लोग कैसे जाएंगे वो तो कुछ पता नहीं गाड़ी बहुत ज्यादा मांगता है और मांग रहा है फाइव पार पार हेड 500 600 जो, जो जितना चाहे मांग रहा है 3000 रुपए मांगा यस्टरडे या पर काटकुतम जाने के लिए जहां 300 जहां 300 रुपए से हो जाएगा हमारा गवर्नमेंट का बस नैनीताल से टैक्सी चलाता हूं हल्द्वानी वाली रोड बंद है हम लोग काला ढूंगी से होते हुए जा रहे हैं इसीलिए हमारा रेट जो है बढ़ा हुआ है जी तीन दिन से हम लोग टैक्सी में ही सो रहे हैं खाना पीना भी सब हमारा उसी में हो रहा है बट फॉर अदर एरियाज रोड एक्सेस रिमेंस कट ऑफ दीस आर इमेजेस ऑफ खेरना एंड केंची इन द कुमाऊ रीजन दिस मॉर्निंग अनलेस दिस मैसिव लैंडस्लाइड इज क्लियर्ड the bulk of travelers from hill stations such as almora and raniket remain stranded there is no fuel at pumps erratic low voltage electricity and broken internet services at the moment ye nuksan abhi bhi bahut ho rakha hai usko samanya hone mein bhi kafi din lagega sadkein puri ki puri beh gayi hain bhuskalan ho gaya hai nadiyon ne apna marg badal diya hai gaon ke gaon jo hai usse prabhavit hue hain pul toot gaye hain ye hamara pura prayas hai ki jo sadak band hai un sadkon ko sabse pehle khole The National Disaster Relief Force remains deployed in key parts of the state to help those stranded. Water levels of the Kosi have been high with several resorts along the Corbett National Park having been inundated. At this control room the overall rescue and relief operations are being monitored. Agar aap gaon ki sankhya dekhein to 4000 se zyada gaon prabhavit hue hain vibhinn prakar se aur 4300 se zyada mein to bijli बाधित हो गई थी और उसमें से 3000 में बिजली पुनर्स्थापित की जा चुकी है और करीब 1300 में अभी बाकी है At least 46 people have been killed so far in the rains in Uttarakhand and the big concern is this this has all been caused by a western disturbance it's unseasonable rainfall but the fact is this it's been 124 years since the Kumaon region of Uttarakhand has seen rainfall like this For now everyone's focus here is on the skies. Uttarakhand cannot afford more rain at the moment. The hillsides are saturated with water and operations to clear roads can only happen if there's sunshine for the next few days. In Raniket, Vishnu Shom for NDTV. And those visuals just give you a sense of the large scale devastation on people's lives because nearly 50 people died in the last 24 hours. Their homes have been washed away. Noman Siddiqui joins us now from a relief center where families have just fled with whatever they had in their bags. Sir, Noman, tell us what the situation is there now in Nenital. Uh, Sonia, as compared to the last two days, the situation is slightly better today. But let me explain to you the people sitting around me. These people stay at a place called Balia Nala, which is the outlet for the Nenital Lake. So now, what has happened is these people had to evacuate their homes, and they, uh, now they are in a shelter, which has been arranged by the government. I am sitting inside a government college. So these people have been relocated here. Largely, if you talk about the situation, uh, uh, it's better as compared to yesterday and day before. Some tourists who were stranded. have been able to move out uh, because one of the highways which connects nenital to haldwani is open the other two still remain shut uh, the army 
and the NDRF as well as the administration is on its toes and they are working day and night to clear the landslides, the Malwa. But uh, I think things for, for things to get normal, it will take another some time. 